for, um, since we're encouraging a healthy cooking camp, everyone to get in the kitchen and get cooking, sometimes it can be a little, you know, hard on your back if you're not standing the right way or if you decide to take on a big day of cooking and want to cook a bunch mm -hmm. of different meals for the week. Do you have any yoga poses or stretches oh, sure. that would help open up or just really kind of At do some good kitchen, for you right? open the kitchen? Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and it's so funny too because it, cooking can stress people out as well. Yeah. And what shoulders go up. Shoulders Everyone gets so up. And you're over and you're chopping like this. this and your shoulders round forward. Right. And kind of the energy that you bring into what you're cooking is the energy that you bring into what you're eating, into your meal. Oh, thank right? you. Right? So yes. everything is a process and we really want to stay in the moment. It can be a very meditative process. So even if you come into the kitchen and just close your eyes for a second and like place your hands yeah, on, on the table and take a few deep breaths in through the nose deep breath out and you could even set an intention you know whether it's to make a nourishing meal for myself or a nourishing meal for my family or my friends and then take another deep breath in and deep breath out so immediately you come into the kitchen with that feeling that wow. sense of isn't that nice that and then when you so nice. and when you open your eyes you could if you want to take a little uh shoulder stretch you can take one arm over the other this little is called eagle, eagle arms yes, yes. And if you lift your elbows and sink your shoulders, you'll feel that great stretch. Oh my God! Oh, that you were saying right here, right here between your shoulder oh, blades, yeah. right? So that's good. where you need it. This is definitely where you need it, oh. and this is something you can do again, even for your wrists oh. and your hands. It's nice yeah. if you're using a lot of knives and utensils and chopping. Mm. And again, you find that nice zen-like breath. So eagle arms is one that I love to do because it's easy, and that's simple. You know, simple little stretch you can do. If you can't press the palms, you can always take the back of the hands. And then I like to interlace the hands, press the heels of the hands forward, and you get a good stretch there. Yep, you can mm. round your back and get the stretch. I make noises while I stretch. Oh, that's <laughs> good. That's good. That's so good. good. That's, that's, that's good. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can bring your shoulders back on your back. You can even lift the arms overhead if you want to. High altar pose. You could do a side stretch. This is all simple things you could do. Look at even when your eggs are boiling or when, you know, oh, totally. you can take the arms behind Double. you, interlace the hands and make a fist and clasp the hands and get oh, a good I stretch there. I did a lot of push-ups yesterday. It's so good. Love this. You can hold your elbows behind your back. You can also make a prayer up the back. So that's a big one. That's a good wrist. That's a good shoulder stretch. Oh. You can do the table dog, the downward dining, oh. the dining table downward dog. Let's call it dining that. Dining dog. So for your back, you said, and the upper back, you yeah. can just get a good stretch oh my there. God. Isn't that amazing? We'll see I don't know if anyone can see that, but that's a great stretch. And what you want to do is go back into that stretch and then bend your knees slightly. Now kind of drop here a little bit more. Like arch out of that area. There you go. Nice. And feel that stretch there. Excellent. You can even come up, you could get a full workout in the dining room or at the, at the kitchen table because you could even do your little chaturanga push-ups on. That's a whole other video we got to do. And then, and then you could do your pigeon prep. I don't know how sanitary this is, but you know, everyone gets hip flexor stuff so you can bring your leg up on the table oh for God. pigeon. And you could do a little bit. Yes. Sexy. You can be pressed. Sexy you can to be cooking like that. Prep vegetables oh, while you're stretching your it. piriformis. You know, your little pi pigeon prep. So Amazing. there's lots of kitchen stretches. But Kristen's doing it incredible. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. So my favorite thing is I just love that, like, Whenever we get in the kitchen, it's often go, go, go. And one of yes. our big tips is really to get your feet under you before you start chopping anything oh, so you really gosh. are in control and you feel confident. But to even take that one step further with just a closed eye breath mm. takes two seconds and changes that whole frantic energy experience. If I gotta get dinner re ready, the phone's ringing, I'm busy, go, 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 get this done. It takes no time and just changes everything. Just you feel so much more relaxed. So yeah. true. It slows you down. It helps you feel like you're in the moment. Yeah. I love what you said about just getting your feet under you and feeling mm -hmm. in control. And then you lead from center and you lead from that place of love and from passion, from yourself. And you give of yourself in a way that's so much more present. And you can taste it. You and you can. Taste can. That love. I completely, I completely agree. I want to... Red wine.